Many people are moving out of China, wanting to live in a different culture. You're going the opposite direction. Why am I here? Why did I come to China? My name is Simon Higgins and over the last 25 years I've been a professional writer. I've had 14 novels published all over the world, in many cases in different languages. And now it's my privilege, having transferred my life to China, work with Crane Animation and building my wife's dream of an animation company that through characters like Coco and Little Love reach out to the world with Chinese culture and wisdom. Uzza. Yes, darling. Come and have some food I cooked for you. Thanks, darling. Thanks. You like it? Yeah. Aww. Good morning. Good morning. So I've been coaching the writing team and coming up with ideas for stories, and that's been a truly wonderful privilege. The way in which we met had about it the feeling of destiny. Uh, in 2011, I was on a speaking tour traveling around Australia promoting my latest novel. And I went from a big Melbourne public library to the librarian. She said, uh, while you're out there, uh, get an Asian animator, find one to bring your books to life. And I went to a tiny coffee shop and there was only one person in that coffee shop. But as it turned out, the one person that really counted. And she was working on an animation project. She had just graduated from RMIT in Melbourne. So I went in and uh, introduced myself. I soon found that we had a great deal in common. Love of dogs, love of the same kinds of music. We also love travel and adventure and exploring each other's cultures. When I first moved to China to be with Yu Xiao, um, I actually found almost everything quite easy to adapt to because I had been reading about Chinese culture and history since I was a teenager and very interested in it. China is such an ancient and venerable and complex culture, 5,000 years of history. For a foreigner to come and live in China and to at least partly understand it. So that's the uh, yeah. room. Up there. Oh, it's a good memory there. Yeah. <laughs> I've been living there for four years. Yeah. They need a guide who takes them into their heart and patiently explains things. Simon said, uh, why all your, all your Chinese uh, uh, Chengyu are all about animals? <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. If it was not for my wonderful, clever, hardworking and insightful wife, I would only have a very shallow understanding, an outsider's viewpoint about Chinese culture. This is Koko. This is Xiao Ai. When we were working on this company, the Koko Xiao Ai Dongwan brand, we hoped that through a woman, a man, a girl, and a woman, it was good. They captured the hope of creating a beautiful world for us. Hello, Koko. Hello, Simon. From an early age, my wife had a dream. She had a vision of becoming an animator. As that dream began to unfold, she wanted to form a public service company for animation and also spread Chinese culture internationally. I kind of transferring my creative life to China, following her back and supporting her as she pursued her dream of growing a company. Many friends, particularly friends from super cities, as I call them around China, some of the bigger cities, often asked, are you associated with Coco and Little Love, Coco Shaoai? You must come from Beijing or Shanghai from a, a very big company. They were surprised to learn that it was a homegrown product from Guangxi and uh, we're very proud and very excited to be involved in something that has spread to over a thousand channels and is seen on aeroplanes, subway stations, the side of buildings. It's, it's pretty amazing. And as well as all of that big media coverage, you can go to tiny little villages in China and there is a sign with Coco and Little Love promoting some important value. So yeah. Yeah. it's amazing. Yeah.
所以，所中国动漫需要更多有热爱、有理想的人加入。经营公司之余，很荣幸能进入高校成为老师，有机会可以结合自己的实战经验，为培养动画行业人才摸索新思路，为推动行业发展尽绵薄之力。I also have the privilege of teaching at Guilin Tourism University. And part of my focus there as a teacher is to deepen the knowledge of international culture, so that in the future, people trained as tour guides and involved in the tourism industry can really help spread Chinese culture throughout the world as they receive people and as they travel themselves and work in that industry. In the first few years of coming to China, as you can imagine, I had some interesting reactions from foreign friends. Many of my friends were very supportive, but some of them asked me, "What? What is it with you?" As far as we can tell, many people are moving out of China, coming to the West,、uh, wanting to live in a different culture. You're going the opposite direction. What's with that? So I told them, "You don't really know China until you've been there and experienced China." Part of my feeling about why am I here? Why did I come to China? It's destiny, and also I think part of that destiny is not just the destiny of love, but the destiny of getting to share the real China that is still here with the rest of the world, and that's part of my mission. <laughs> Yeah. Hello. Yeah, ready to go. Okay, so here we go. Over the years, my impression and my perspective of living in Guilin has definitely changed. When I first came to Guangxi, I felt I was someone privileged to live in a, a magical place that I'd read about since my youth and been very interested in. But over the years living here, I began to feel less of an outsider, privileged to live in a stranger in a strange land, as they say, and more a part of the place. I would love to share that with the world and help people to understand what it is I've come to love. They say that、uh, the journey of ten thousand miles is undertaken one step at a time. I simply know that I'm flowing with it now, and、uh, I'm very excited to now feel truly a part. And now, for me, China is truly home. To really understand the、um, the complexities of Chinese life, you have to think in a poetic way. That's what's wonderful about the wisdom sayings and、uh, the very poetic and romantic way of looking at life and the connection with nature. I have an old friend in Australia. He's also a writer, a very wise man, and he said to me, "You really love China, don't you?" And I said to him, "In fact, I love China so much I married her."、Mm -hmm. And、uh, he just smiled and nodded silently. He totally understood what I was saying, and that is the feeling that I have—the feeling that I've really connected through you.